right, how's it going, y'all? It's Mid Temple here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial. Um, I had someone reach out to me after I made a video. Um, and it was a video with the NPC keys, and I was playing the samples across the key, the keypad, I mean, the uh, keyboard. So the question he had, this was uh, at my reasoning. He said, hey, Mid Temple, I was wondering, is, is there a way to sample from external source directly into the NPC key 61 key key bed without using pads okay and I'm assuming he's talking about like lazy chop because you can just sample into here and you know you just record the sample um, using the sampler so if I go shift so we in the sampler right now and then you can play the sample on the source external source I got my iPad here and then you arm, you can arm it and sample it, have, you know, up to 19 uh, minutes or 20 minutes. But I'm assuming he's talking about, can you, he wants to assign it to the pads. And I found the workflow uh, to do that. And it, what else he said? He said, and I'm, I only wanted to assign samples directly to the keys, not the pads. All right. So um, it's a way to do that, but you have to use the NPC software. And I'm assuming you can probably save um the global learn uh, midi learn and enabler to the hardware but i haven't found the way how to edit the, the learning the global learning for pads to keys just with the hardware but so so let's look at the software you can't really see it um i try to explain what I'm, what you're looking at so under it's a tab called uh midi learn you hit control f l to get there and there is two tabs at the top, one for global, one for projects. So you hit the global and then you want to hit um, new MIDI mapping. And then you want to enable, it's an enable button. And then there's also a learn button. Then a learn button, you basically, you click whatever, anything that's highlighted in, I guess this yellow color is what can be uh, learned meaning it can be assigned to something. So like pad one, I had keys and I hit the keys to assign that pad. So this data here, this first key, the data for this first key is 36. So it's assigning that note at 36. Now I can change it, I can make it 37, which is the next key, but 36 is what I want pad one to be. And by the way, you wanna go to, you can go to all, but you can wanna go to your pads. So right here, it, it, the target is the pad. So it's pad one through 16 is, is the target. And then the data is what else you want to control those pads. So long story short, you have to, you always gonna have to use the pads to control the samples, but you can also assign it to the keys as well. So this is the workaround. All right, so I'm gonna try to do a test. Hopefully it works for me. And the only way you can actually get it to assign to just the keys right away is to do lazy chopping. Lazy chopping is when you play the sample and you make your shots while you while the sample is playing. So I'm gonna do that test. Hopefully I don't get a strike, a copyright strike, but we'll see. So let me play the sample. I'm wishing on a star. Let's go back. I forgot to put it on uh, slice. So let's do this again. I'm wishing on a star. I could have went longer and um, get more keys, but actually each time you hit a pad, if you just hit this first pad all the way through, it's gonna pit them on each key in the, anyway by just hitting that first pad the whole time because all it does is just whatever, next the next strike moves it to the next pad basically or the next key. So we got that sample. Uh, it's not that straightforward. Once you do the sample, you're not able to go right ahead and edit these keys. Um, I think 
the trick I had to do was move this to the drum pad to new sample, which is the new sample that we played. Of course, it plays the keys there. But when you go to your sample, edit, let's first let's go to the sample and go to change this from slice to sample. So you can play it here. So it's working there. So let's see if we go to sample edit if it works. Because I've been having issues with it working. Except in edit. Okay, so it's working. So now we can actually edit the sample with just the keys instead of the pads. So I can go to my quick cue links and make adjustments for those slices that I sliced. Um, let's see if we can make a new. So if I want to make a new sample, I don't think it will work. Let's see. You might have to use the pad or you might have to just hit uh, this plus sign. Create a new sample. So, you know, it's some, it's some work, work around. It's, it's kind of a, a workflow that you can implement, but it's kind of like they didn't. NPC uh, uh, Kai didn't design it to work that way, but I found the workaround to do it. So, like I said, you have to use Lazy Shop to actually get it to be on the pads. But like I said, first you have to assign the target pad to the correct key. You know what I'm saying? You can start the keys from down here if you want to, but. That's the first step is to come in here in this global edit, learn, enable stuff and as far as the MIDI and you can get it to work that way. So hopefully that answers your question. It is possible, but Akai didn't design the keyboard to be used as the sampler initially. Uh, hopefully Akai, if y'all catch this video, y'all can probably implement that into one of the uh keyboard control um options you go here you know it's a lot of options and there might be something in here that i don't know how to assign but maybe y'all can add that in there um as a update where ones have have that option to just use the keyboard uh like their ars ars 10 whatever it's called how their workflow is they don't have a actually get pads that everything is assigned to the keys so i think that's kind of what he wanted to go for that's kind of what I was hoping as well when I got this to use it like that. Um, and, you know, so far uh, I've been like, I'm used to using the pads anyway, so it's all good. But I like to be able to assign the keys as well and use a lot of those commands that you use in your um, sample of edit. Go to that. Yeah. A lot of the commands you have in here. I wish I could be able to use those commands as well. Um, like going to your uh, trim and being able to control a lot of these functions here. That'd be nice if they was already, if you was able to do that with the keyboard as well. But like I said, it's a workaround that I found and you know, it works pretty good. You know what I mean? You can do your uh, lazy chop. If you go to your sampler, chop it in using the keys so let me know if y'all got any other questions or if y'all want to see any more tutorial videos uh if y'all got any additional questions that y'all want to see um but I, honestly i thought it wasn't gonna work but i found the way to make it work so all right talk to y'all later peace out also please uh follow subscribe and uh give me a thumbs up if you can all right peace